and I'm in full kill Just give me a beat, helping out many hook tails Bend on the hatches, we're about to set sail On another adventure, many hook tails Ain't hungry for stacks, stacks, ain't hungry for kill But give me a big helping out many hook tails Batten down the hatches, we're about to set sail On another adventure, many hook tails Big helping, mini hook tails. Ashes, set sail. Mini hook tails. Yeah. <laughs> I had made an album where I just used a four track tape recorder, um, drum machine, and then I played bass and guitar and did vocals. And that was the Monster Squad. Monster crew or monster magnet or whatever. The monster squad was me on vocals, Terry on guitar, and I don't have permission to use this person's name, so we'll just call him Dave McDonough on the drums. How I found out about the monster crew was that uh, we had a show at a house party in Big Lake, Meat Hook did, and we got there and these guys are like, hey, uh, we're opening up for the band tonight. I was like, oh, really? We're the opening band. I figured it would be the closing band. I was like, no, we're the opening band. And I was like, really, who are we opening up for? And they're like, oh, we're opening up for uh, us. And that's how I found out about their side band. And it kind of frustrated me, but the cool part was is that that got me into making my own music and learning my own instruments. And that's how I got Turtle T albums. I am now up to five Turtle T albums. There are three that I'll probably never see the light of day. They're a little rough. We use a few of them songs on Team Hook sets. One album was all Nine Inch Nails and Ministry samples and outtakes. And so obviously commercially, I could never put those out. There's another side project that Turtle started was a Mountain Man String Band. There's also a Mountain Man String Band. That's kind of a bluegrass band. And, you know, I had its core members and it's kind of revolving musicians. So core members are me, JJ, Matthew Lowell, Justin Lowell, and Taylor Lowell, and Bone on mandolin. I think even Terry made it out to a couple of Mountain Man practices. It was fun, yeah, we'd meet and just kind of play and Whoever would show up and play. Like Opie came a couple times. Frank came a couple times. I wrote most of the songs. And one of my goals for Mount Man String Band is like, fuck it, I'm going to be as inappropriate as possible. You know, I have a more palatable genre of music. Watch me blow it up with horrendous lyrics. I do have some really good songs from Mount Man String Band that I don't really want to lose. I want to kind of bring them back. Uh, children to the grave jeez it's a spine chilling one so ball man string man was dope too